Well, first of all, good afternoon. I want to thank you especially for being here because this is really one of those really great moments in time when we have a piece of legislation that we're very excited about because if for nothing else, it's sort of grounded in common sense. You know, we're really, you know, it's a lesson learned from COVID, if you will, but even before that, you know, when you think about it, I think all of us, you know, think about that great picnic at the park or if we're fortunate enough to have a nice lanai, maybe lanai, you know, having, having dinner on a lanai or for that matter, you know, eating at the beach or whatever. And for, for those of us who've had the privilege of traveling, you've gone to other world-class cities, and you've dined outdoors, and it's just such a great experience. And so this is something that we wanted to do really, I think first and foremost for our patrons, because we know people really like to do this. But we also hope that it's really gonna help our restaurants because more than anything, they were really hammered during COVID. At one point, and I was getting intel at the mayor's office, we lost about 40% of our restaurants in a six and a half billion dollar industry that employs over 100,000 people. And as we said at the time, it's not just a business, it's a way of life, it's part of our lives. And so that's the other thing that I'm excited about down here as we stand out here today in front of Hachi Bay, is that this fits in perfectly in what we're trying to do in our downtown corridor. Not only in the Renaissance of Chinatown, but a hotel street and everywhere else that we can possibly do this. So I don't want to say for the industry, it's a big driver, if you will, because a lot of restaurants might not be able to do this. But for those restaurants that apply and that want to do this and it can help their business model, we think that's great too. So all the way around, this is a win, win, win. I think it's a win for those people who love the quaintness and, and just the nice experience of being able to eat outdoors at their favorite restaurant and have that happen for them. And for those restaurants that this can apply to, who want to do it, to add to it, for the experience of their patrons and quite honestly for the restaurants themselves and helping their business model, it's a good thing. And then also for our city, it's a good thing to be doing. So this is just a great moment. And I really want to hear from, Cheryl's going to come up here from, and Bobby's going to come up here to give you a further perspective. Um, but this is just something that I'm really glad we're able to make happen. And so with that, without any further ado, I want to have Cheryl come up here, okay? Hawaii Restaurant Associated and all restaurants just really appreciate it. Even just a few more seats outside gives the restaurant so much of a boost. And let's remember that it's not only about the restaurants that are benefiting, but it's the whole Hawaii food supply chain. When restaurants do well, the farmers do well, the fisheries do well, all the suppliers that supply the restaurants. So what Mayor Blangiardi is talking about is not only the restaurants itself, but you're really affecting the whole Hawaii food supply chain when patrons visit our restaurants. So again, thank you so much, Mayor. Hello everyone, my name is Robert Yamazaki. I'm the managing partner for Yakitori Hachibe. Um, I wanted to also reiterate and thank Mayor Blangiardi for uh, re-implementing outdoor dining, uh, passing law 20, or Bill 27 into law. It's so important for restaurants throughout Hawaii um, during the pandemic in 2020, it was catastrophic. I had to furlough my entire staff um, around March when we went into emergency shutdown. We were closed for almost five months, four and a half months. Um, after that, we uh, were able to uh, implement outdoor dining. So when I reopened the restaurant uh, in September, it was, uh, we went from 42 seats to 22 seats because of social distancing. Um, it was impossible to really make it. And the uh, outdoor dining allowed us to add eight more seats outdoor, um, which is huge if you look at it as a percentage of what was going on at the time. And it allowed us to um, book fully all of our tables because many of our guests were still afraid. Uh, so we were all booking twice, so that's 16 covers. It's anywhere between $600 to $1,000 in income for the restaurant a day. It was huge. It was vital. We wouldn't have made it without it. Um, as COVID has progressed, you know, it's less of a threat, but we still have diners that would um, enjoy dining outside because it's safer. Um, on top of that, it's just nice to be outside to dine in Hawaii, in paradise. Uh, the other thing is that Mayor Blandiardi's work on the Renaissance of Chinatown is huge. Um, we put in these shades in our restaurant because we wanted to separate our diners from some of the 
unruly neighbors that we had going around and there were a lot and every night we had to deal with it. Um, now with the Renaissance and, and just a higher police presence, um, it's just a safer community and it's, and it's visible and the dynamic has changed completely. I think going forward we're going to be less worried about COVID and more um, having the opportunity to have outdoor dining in paradise, as I said before. Um, Cheryl Matsuoka is essential in all of this. Um, Sherry Minor McNamara at the time with the, um, small, the Small Business Administration. Chuck, all of our colleagues, Chuck at FET. Um, we all worked really hard to try to go, get through COVID, um, helped each other, uh, gave each other information, and uh, made di sidewalk dining in Chinatown viable. And it was a great atmosphere out there, out there then. Um, it's going to be even better now. Thank you very much, Major Mayor Blandiardi. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Chuck. And thank you, everybody in Hawaii. And it's a great thing for Chinatown, for Yakitori Hachibe, all restaurants in Hawaii, and on top of that, all small business in Chinatown. Thank you. My name is Esther Kia Aina, Vice Chair of the uh, Honolulu City Council and Chair of the Committee on Housing and the Economy. Uh, the City Council is pleased to support Mayor Blandiardi and the restaurant community in the enactment into law of Bill 27. This bill is reflected of the new norm uh, for a post-COVID environment. And it's critically important that we provide every avenue possible to help with our uh, small business and restaurant restaurants as, as they recover uh, from, from the pandemic, but also to provide more opportunities for the residents of Oahu to enjoy uh, out, outdoor uh, dining. Uh, I look forward to its implementation and I'm hoping uh, it will be successful because I would like to see the permanent establishment of this program uh, into the future. Thank you very much. Well, we don't have any questions, but I want to say one other thing about the quality of restaurants, and there are a lot of really great restaurants downtown, but we happen to be on a little stretch here between FET and Yakitori Hachi Bay. These two restaurants are extraordinary, and so that's another part of it, is being able to want to share and celebrate really great restaurants that not only our local people can enjoy, but people will come and travel to Honolulu to eat at these specific dineries. So Chuck, congratulations, Bobby, thank you. These are great restaurants. Okay, so we'll answer any questions anybody has. Ask all the questions of them. I'm just window dressing, but no, go ahead. Anybody? Yes. Yeah, well, I think anything's a possibility. You know, we're trying to move aggressively into the future with COVID. You know, I, I would tell you the most challenging thing of my job is a sense of urgency calibrated against the time it takes to get things done. So anywhere and everywhere we can take, not a shortcut, but we can make things happen. That's what we're about. We're going to make things happen. And this is a great one to have happen right now. Okay. John, anything you want to say yeah. to that? So you can hear that Mayor has a great sense of urgency here. Oh, by the way, John Nouchi, Deputy Director, Department of Transportation Services. You can hear Mayor's great sense of urgency here. And while the ordinance does give us six months, the city six months to implement, that urgency is reflected in, I would like my department, Department of Transportation Services, which will be intaking the permits to authorize the outdoor dining. We aim to get this program in place before the end of summer. So let, let's just say before the end of August. Um, just understanding that emergency. Because you know, if you look around, as everyone had said, if you look at why don't we have outdoor dining, dining al fresco, I mean, now I ana iwaho in Hawaiian language, eating outside. It's gonna be a real thing in city and county of Honolulu. Getting the permit, we're working out the process, whether there will be an online portal or whether we'll be doing that in the same fashion that we do issue street usage permits at the Fossi Municipal Building. So right now we're trying to figure out those little details and I think we're pretty close to outlining a whole process to get the permit. We at all, we don't want to make this cumbersome for restaurants at all. Um, we want it to be very much similar to how we handled outdoor dining during the emergency proclamation. I think a lot of restaurants commented that it was easier than they expected, you know, given that a lot of times, you know, government can complicate things, but I think we want to make this uh, a painless process for everyone to just hit the ground and get going.
All right, well then, look, I want to say it again. Thank you for coming. Thanks for covering this. This is a great story, and it's about celebration of our lives here and kind of unleashing, if you will, on a going forward basis. We've had a tough couple of years. I love moments in time like this, so thank you. We appreciate it.